legs. Yeah, why don't mind, you I'll, lend I'll, the party to the I'll, I'll, party. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a few pictures while you talk. Yeah, yeah of course. Nice. No problem, no problem. Uh, problem. Uh, well, basically because we, uh, because I talk more about we more than you know my people because yes. I also believe exactly the same thing. Uh, for me, they're all equals. Mm -hmm. They're all equals. For me, if uh, in my region um, uh, there was like corruption, or in Italy there was corruption, uh, we are one of the most corrupt countries. One of the most corrupt countries. Um, if uh, we don't have infrastructure, if we don't have a really good program of transportation. If things don't, you know, don't go in the right way, it's because there was a bad administration. Mm -hmm. So, but most of the times, you know, like in many cities, there are like uh, uh, administrations from uh, left side, le left wing, or right wing. That's not the point. I believe there are like uh, not, uh, uh, there are honest people. Mm -hmm. There are good people, bad people. That's all. But this matter, since I am in the in the movement, well, in the group since like 2007, um, for me, when we decided to collect signatures in order for politicians that are judged guilty cannot be re-elected, we collected signature. And for me, in 2007, I said that that's the place I want to stay. So again, it's not about ideology, it's not about left or right, it's about ideas, it's about values. And for me, the only place I can stay is in my group at this moment because we want to change things and we are able to do that. So that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. ask one thing. What is your point of view in terms of connection with other left wing parties in Europe? Do you connect more? With other left parties? Yeah. Well, we, I mean, we connect with, uh, um, with movements and parties that have some ideas. Basically, we are not left, we are not right. We just follow good ideas. And uh, most of the times, the ideas are not left or right. Of course, one of our priorities in, in Europe now is to um, is, is the will of the, of the Italian citizens. Basically, we are not against Europe. That is something that they are starting to, uh, to to say also in the media. We are not against Europe. We propose a referendum about the euro currency because we believe that the euro currency um, made lots of trouble for for Italians. So that's what what we believe. But we want Europe to be a community. We want uh, states that can have like solidarity. We want solidarity among the states. We don't want this uh, European institution ruled basically by uh, bankery uh, institutions. That's what we want. That's a main point. The main point is that uh, basically people, uh, what, what did we receive from Europe? If we think about Greece, Greece is like the, the, the fact that Europe in this way is falling down because the, the Greek people um, Europe didn't help the Greek people, that's the problem. So basically, European people now are just thinking, okay, so what, what are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Why didn't Europe actually help the, the Greek people? Because I want to say that basically when they gave uh, these funds to Greece, they didn't give them to Greece, they gave to German and to French banks. Because they have debt, but that's another question. So basically, we are seeing like Greek, Greek people who are like suffering. Children cannot go to hospital, and Europe is like not concentrated on this point. So that's why the, the European people don't feel like the European institutions. And most of all, I mean, Juncker wasn't elected by anybody, anybody at all. So do they have any legitimacy to this? That's another main point. How does the Brexit that actually happened, whether we believe it or not, how does that play into it until this point? What do you mean? What do you think about it? If you're saying, um, do you think that it, it, was, it was a good idea to have a referendum in 
Well, for us, the referendum is uh, one of our values because the Five Star Movement really believes that people have to have the right to vote and to decide for their own country. So, uh, for me, a referendum was a good idea. Uh, then, if 17 million British citizens decided for the Brexit, I mean, we have to take into account the result. That's all. So, it's not a... Um, we cannot say, oh, well, I was uh, against, uh, I was for the remain and I was for the leave. That's not the point. The point is that British, British citizens have decided. And of course, I believe that um, this result has to shake up Europe in this case. I hope so, because I, I really hope, you know, to, that Europe can change. Uh, but at the, in this moment, you know, like how they are reacting, they are not reacting, I believe, in a good in a good way. But of course, I mean, a referendum is a referendum. People have chosen. But if we look at how the way how the referendum uh, before the referendum, how how the two main parties um, try to convince people, there was lots of false information going around. Like the, the, the pro Brexit um, side put in some arguments that basically weren't true or were extremely exaggerated. Of course, people decided, but what I ask myself is, on what grounds did they decide? So, so what, um, so what is your um, position at that? How can we make sure that it is not misused? That's a good question. Uh, well, basically, the media play a fundamental role. They really play a fundamental role. In Italy, um, we have some media who said we were fascists, then they said we were communists, then they, we, they said we were ruled just by Beppe Grillo. So really, the media play a fundamental role. So what I believe is that uh, people have to have a correct information. That's all. If you have a correct information, if you are uh, a citizen who knows which are the consequences of leaving and remaining, then you have to choose. And then you are a free citizen. You are a citizen who can really choose what he or she wants. What is the strategy of your movement against the well, we had uh, we had proposed a really really good uh, uh, corruption uh, law. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, um, the first proposal was the banning order for corrupted politicians. So basically, um, the politicians who have com committed crimes against the public administrations cannot administrate anymore. Mm -hmm. So we really want this banning uh, this banning order. Because people who are corrupted cannot manage public affairs. Simple. Mm -hmm. Then we um, we wrote also the role of agent protector, the undercover agent that can help tackling corruption. And we uh, want to protect the whistleblowers. So the people who uh, report corruption have to be safeguarded. So these are some of the main uh, points. And about criminal organizations, again, I mean, uh, maybe the first, uh, the first uh, thing to do is uh, to put people who are honest, who don't have any, rec any criminal record, who basically, uh, they don't have anybody behind. 